the moment my two-year-old starts being impatient and whiny, I lose it. I know I can't control her and that she is little, but could you give me some advice on what sort of inner monologue I should think to myself so that I can cope with her difficult days better? Well, Jen, yes, I can. And first, it is great that you recognize that you can't control another person's behavior. Unless, of course, it is dangerous or infringing on someone else's space, it's important to give our kids the freedom to express their feelings. Whining is your child's way of telling you that he or she feels powerless or unable to cope with what is happening. When you react with anger or control, you reinforce those feelings of helplessness and may even increase the whining. So what can you do when the whining has got you down? My first suggestion is to pick up the wine. I'm in my pajamas, I got a glass of wine. <laughs> The cues, pick up the wine cues and then reflect understanding. Whining is another way of crying. There is pain underneath that whine. It's all bundled up and it could have many root causes, whether they be a need for connection, disappointment that hasn't yet moved to a place of acceptance, or even unresolved feelings from another time and place that are generated as soon as an obstacle appears for your child. Many kids, being that they are inexperienced, are unable to cope and can be triggered into whining. It's very, very common. But instead of responding with criticism or demands for the big girl voice to come back, pick up the whine and listen for the cues and then reflect back what you hear. You're feeling sad that I said no more TV, huh? Or you'd really like to stay at the park and not have to go home for dinner. I hear that you're sad. Come and tell me more about this. When you reflect understanding rather than giving in or pushing away the wine, your child's nervous system processes the event as safe and encodes positive memories which create teachable moments. My next tip, give the wine the space to breathe. The more surface area the wine has, the more oxygen will be able to interact with the wine. All good wines need some time to breathe. If it is unpleasant or disruptive to the space or people around you, if you're in a public space where it's not comfortable for you, you can gently intervene to help your child get some space, but do so without being punitive. Instead of, if you keep whining about this, we are leaving, try something like, I hear your frustration. Let's go outside and get some space so that you can have some privacy. Or, I hear that you really, really want this. I am listening or sometimes a really big cry helps me. Why don't we go find some space where we can get these feelings out and you can tell me more. This way you calmly and confidently show your child that there are ways to resolve his feelings and that you are not going to be triggered into anger or upset because this really only creates a sense of insecurity in a child already struggling to manage strong emotions. And my final tip, sometimes you have to put down the wine and let it go. Let go of the physical sensations that accompany the whining. What comes up for you? Breathe into them and then release them. You have to step out of your child's energetic place of discomfort and frustration. Watching our kids in discomfort, or watching anyone for that matter, because you're human, will actually activate those same neurons in your body that are being activated in the person that you're watching or in your child. You activate your own fight or flight response simply by viewing your child in distress. So when your child can't help but express through high-pitched whimpers or gripes, put down the wine and then let it go. I want you to implement some deep breathing as you repeat to yourself, I am safe, I am capable, I am calm. You can even bring a little bit of EFT into the moment and start tapping away. You can say, even though my child is whining, and the sound is so irritating to me that I want to scream. I deeply and completely love, respect, and accept myself. And you do that three times. Even though my child is whining and I can't stand it one more minute and it's making me not be able to breathe, I deeply and completely love, respect, and accept myself. And then go through the tapping points. Even though my child is whining and it's making my stress rise through the roof, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And I know that my child is in pain. I am safe. I am capable. 
I am calm. My child is in pain and I can handle this. You can go through this process of EFT to help you regain control of your emotions. These tools are going to help you disengage from your own inner alarm center so that you can remain clear-headed and empathetic in those moments when you are feeling less than resourceful. Okay, that was my teachable moment for you. I hope that you can see that whining does not have to be the cringe fest that you fear. You can actually stay composed and calm if you practice some self-care and make that conscious choice to step out of your child's emotional storm and into your well of peaceful serenity through some reflection, acceptance, and self-care. Now what about you? Have you had a whiner that you could just not bear one more second? I would love to hear how you were able to maintain your Zen Mama or Zen Papa in that moment. Leave me a note in the comments and share your story because you never know when your story might just be what someone else needs to inspire them towards the change that they were looking for. Now did you like this video? Because if so, I would love it if you would pass it on to someone that you love or share it on your favorite social media site because when you share the love, the love spreads. And if you want more video trainings like this, be sure to subscribe to my website and to my YouTube channel because when you subscribe for updates, I will be sure to send you my latest new free training to help you create the family that you deserve. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, please remember it's about consciousness, not perfection.